with it being warm for the next couple of days, I decided to take advantage of it, let the wood stove go out. I let my fire go out last night, so the wood stoves had a good 12 hours plus to cool off. I have an 8 inch Selkirk metal bestest chimney that I bought from EssentialHardware.com. I bought it through them because I found they had the best price and you have free shipping on top of that. We're going to use a 8 inch round poly brush to clean it because if you use the metal one that would void your lifetime warranty. We heat our house with wood, we do have a backup heat. So now I just put a top down under my chimney to collect all the creosote and ash and all that stuff. I don't have a black top driveway, I just have ledge pack so it's not too easy to clean it up. I'm just going to remove the cap down here. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Like I said before, I'm just using an 8 inch poly brush so it doesn't void the warranty on my stainless steel metal bestest chimney. Then I just have these sections of 4 foot long fiberglass rod that's pretty flexible. You can screw them all together if you want and run them up or you can be cleaning the chimney and go up about 4 feet, screw on another one and just keep doing it that way. I'll show you how I do that in a minute too. So now in my chimney, you got one, two wing nuts, and then you slide this piece out, and you take your cap down. Just loosen up my wing nuts, slide the brackets, pull that one, and I just remove my cap. And when you pull in your cap, there's going to be a bunch of crud that falls out on you, so just do it slow and make sure your head's not under there. And I just take my brush and rod, shove it up, and then screw on another piece. So now once I have all 24 feet of section up there with a the brush, I'm just going to make sure I ran it up and down each section a few times and then just work its way out, cleaning it while, as I'm pulling it out. I probably got a little bit more creosote than I should, but we just moved up here this spring, so we weren't able to get ahead a year with our firewood, so it's not as dry as it should be, but it's not too bad. So now when you're cleaning your inside stove pipe, it's the biggest reason why you want to make sure your wood stove has been out. Sometimes if you have your metal screws holding the chimney in, and you have a ring, you got to remove the screws of your ring and then pop the chimney out. So you just need to loosen your screws up on your trim ring. I kind of make sure they stay in the ring and don't take them all the way out because they're tiny and they're easy to lose. Just take this pipe out. Then I just like to run my brush through the pipe that goes through the wall. I have a little bit of creosote and ash right here on the edge. So instead of just pulling my brush out and getting it all over the floor, I'm just going to brush it in my hand. just want to keep the mess down to as little as possible. Then I just take a little poly brush and just sweep out 
the rest of the ash and creosote. Then when I'm cleaning out my stove pipe, I just try to do it on the top to make sure the mess stays in the same spot. And again, I just use my poly brush, and if I need to, if it's not coming off that good, I can take a small little putty knife and scrape it. Just gonna use a putty knife and scrape out the big stuff. I'll just dump it out. And again, putting it back on, it's pretty much the reverse. You want to put it on the through wall thimble end first, slide it in place. And then just snug up your trim ring screws. So once I have it all put back together, I make sure my damper is working correctly. Make sure it's seated in the stove properly and there's no gaps. Same on the end for the through wall thimble. Tighten up all my trim screws. And then I just take my shop back and I vacuum up the mess I made. So after I have the stove pipe cleaned and put back together, that's when I put my lower cover back in. I leave that out. So as I'm cleaning out in the inside, all the mess can fall out down here. And that's pretty much all you have to do to clean your chimney. Put the top down, it helps contain the mess pretty good. Cleanup's pretty quick and easy. Now I'm just gonna go and pick the pile up and fold my tarp up and we'll be ready for next time. If you have any more questions you need answered, leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything else you'd like to see, leave it in the comments and I'll try making a video for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this clothes drying rack that you can easily raise up out of the way when you're not using it, and it can lower down so you can put your clothes on it easily.